So this week, our focus is on the topic of the authority of the believer. So this week, our focus is on the topic of the authority of the believer. Let's first talk about authority in the natural. In our country, the power and authority of the government emanates from the people. This means that whatever power and authority they have, they have it because we have given it to them. And we now see that the value of their authority rests on the power that is behind it. Now, as believers and children of God, we are also given an authority through Christ Jesus and such authority rests in His power. And this reminds me of John 1.12 in the New King James Version. And it says, But as many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in His name. The word right in that verse when translated into Greek is the word exousia, which means having the right to do something or being authorized to act in behalf of. And this explains now that the source of our authority is the delegated authority of Christ Jesus, which He regained from the devil through the Calvary's victory. Authority and dominion is part of the original plan of God for man in the beginning. It was given to them. However, man lost it when they fell into sin. But God, thank God that He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem us again and restore that authority back to us. This authority now comes only from our revelation of who God is and what He did on the cross for you and I. Truth be told, when we have a revelation of that authority as a believer, our lives change. One thing that changes our perspective and position in life. In Ephesians 3 verse 6 in the Passion Translation, it says, He raised us up with Christ, the Exalted One and we ascended with Him into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm, for we are now co-seated as one with Christ. We are now in a position where we are at rest, that we are seated in Christ Jesus. Your position now is not based from where and who you are and what you have done, but it's now from where and who He is and what He has done for you and I. In this place of authority, you begin to operate not out of your own strength and might, but you begin to move according to how He does things. With this authority that you have as a believer, you now see yourself in a place of victory, and you now know how to stand your ground against the enemy, knowing that the battle has already been won. Another thing it changes in your life is your prayer and the words that you declare. When you know your authority as a believer, you will declare words that would bring life to your situation. You will pray prayers that you have never prayed before. You will pray prayers where it begins to move mountains. And you would pray bold prayers. In Job 22 verse 28 says, You will declare a thing and it will be established for you, so light will shine in your ways. The Word teaches us to declare and decree the promises of God. You will justly claim what is yours. Because you know that you have the authority of God. Understand this, that when we know our authority in Christ Jesus as a believer, it allows us to propel ourselves to move forward in advance. So if you were blessed and if you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell for more devotional vlogs soon.